Why virtual particles don't exist but do explain reality? Hello and welcome back to our channel, Science Enthusiasts. In today's video, we will be discussing the intriguing topic of virtual particles and their existence in reality. Virtual particles are one of the most fascinating concepts in physics, yet their existence is still a topic of debate among scientists. In this video, we will be exploring the concept of virtual particles, their properties, and why they do not really exist, despite being a helpful tool in explaining quantum physics. What are virtual particles? Before delving into why virtual particles don't exist, let us first understand what they are. A virtual particle is a concept used in quantum field theory to explain the interactions between subatomic particles. These particles are hypothetical and cannot be observed directly, but they are useful tools for understanding the behavior of subatomic particles. According to quantum mechanics, subatomic particles exist in a state of probability and can exist at multiple places simultaneously until they are observed. Virtual particles are said to exist in the vacuum state of the universe, and they are created for a brief moment and immediately disappear. They are often referred to as quantum fluctuations because they are a product of the uncertainty principle, which states that it is impossible to know both the position and momentum of a subatomic particle simultaneously. Do virtual particles exist? Now the big question is, do virtual particles exist? The short answer is no. Virtual particles are merely a mathematical tool used to explain certain quantum phenomena. They have never been observed directly, and it is unlikely that they ever will be. However, they are a necessary tool in understanding the quantum world and have been used to explain several experiments and observations. Virtual particles are said to be a product of the so-called vacuum energy, which is the energy contained in the vacuum state of the universe. This vacuum energy is also known as the zero-point energy. According to quantum mechanics, even empty space is full of energy, and virtual particles are created out of this vacuum energy. The Casimir effect, one of the most famous examples of virtual particles is the Casimir effect. The Casimir effect was first predicted by the Dutch physicist, Hendrik Casimir, in 1948. According to the Casimir effect, two parallel metal plates placed close together will experience a force that pushes them together. This force is said to be caused by the fluctuations of virtual particles that are present in the vacuum state of the universe. The Casimir effect has been observed experimentally, and the results match the predictions of quantum field theory. However, this does not mean that virtual particles exist because the force experienced by the plates can also be explained by classical electromagnetic theory. Why virtual particles are useful, despite their non-existence, Virtual particles are an essential tool in quantum field theory and have been used to explain several phenomena that cannot be explained by classical physics. For example, virtual particles are used to explain the electron-positron annihilation process, which is a fundamental process in the creation of gamma rays. Virtual particles have also been used to explain the Hawking radiation, which is the radiation emitted by black holes. The concept of virtual particles is used to explain the creation of a particle-antiparticle pair that is created at the event horizon of the black hole. The black hole absorbs one of the particles, and the other particle escapes, causing the black hole to lose mass, which is known as Hawking radiation. Conclusion In conclusion, we have discussed the concept of virtual particles, their properties, and why they do not really exist despite being a useful tool in quantum physics. Virtual particles are a product of the uncertainty principle, and are created out of the vacuum energy of the universe. They are a necessary tool in understanding the quantum world and have been used to explain several experiments and observations. Despite their non-existence, virtual particles have helped us understand the behavior of subatomic particles, and they continue to be an essential tool in quantum field theory. Thank you for joining, and we hope this video has been informative and entertaining. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more science related content. Thanks for watching.